looking for an answer on how to create a multi-bootable operating system and utilities for a single flash drive? Multi-bootable but can support both UEFI and legacy BIOS mode settings? Impossible isn't it? But nothing is impossible with Yux Tech. So in this video, we will learn the simplest way on how to make a multi-bootable flash drive for both UEFI and legacy BIOS modes. So meaning, you can make a bootable flash drive with multi-operating system and utilities. For example, a bootable flash drive contains Windows 10 operating system, Windows 8.1 operating system, Windows Server, Linux operating system and ISO recovery for utility. Isn't that great? Then for UEFI and legacy, we all know that many are still confused here. Some PCs do not have legacy available and the BIOS setting only accepts UEFI. So stay tuned to this video because you will learn how to do what you think is impossible. Before we start, I would like to have a request. Please click the subscribe button on my channel and hit the notification bell. This is for you to be more updated on my next videos. Thanks a lot. So let's begin. Our requirements before we start are, number one, flash drive at least 16 gigabytes or depending on how many ISOs you want to put in the bootable. Number 2, laptop or desktop computer. Number 3, internet connection. And number 4, your working brain for better understanding. Let's start the tutorial. Please stay focused. The first thing we will do is connect your flash drive to the 3.0 USB port of your computer. Why 3.0? For faster transfer rate. When your computer has read your flash drive, open your internet browser and visit www.easy2boot.com. Here we will take the software that can create multi-bootable ISO with UEFI and legacy support. Take note, I have already revealed the website source of our software. You should still finish the video because there is a confusing process to create UEFI and legacy support. So here is the reason why Brain is included in our requirement so that we can better understand the tutorial. Let's move on, when you're on the easy to boot website. Just find the download easy to boot button and click to start. A new link will open, just navigate to the bottom until you see E2B downloads are here. Just click the link again to go to the download page. You will be directed to the FoshUp website, where here is the link to the software you need. You can now choose what E2B version software should be for your client. If you are a beginner about creating a bootable flash drive, I recommend that you select the very first link which is the recommended, download easy to boot exe, e2b for windows 10 executable installer. Just click to start downloading, and wait until the software is downloaded from the server. When the download is complete, double click the software to install. Just click the next button to get started. After installing E2B, the software will open automatically. You can immediately see in the drop-down menu the flash drive you inserted. Now you will see the red button make E2B drive, just click. The notification form for verification will now appear. Click OK to begin. A command blue screen will appear and ask for a verification that you need to format your flash drive. Click OK to continue. Again, you can see that E2B will automatically do the commands, so all we have to do is wait until the process is over. When E2B has finished copying files, you will now see the command that will ask if you want to add a live grub to file manager UEFI boot files to partition 2. For now, all we have to do is choose no because it usually failed making UEFI work automatically. 
You can also click yes and congrats when you don't encounter any errors. Now, we will create a partition for you EFI. What we will do again is go to the easy to boot website. Find the link or button A1 Live Grub 2 File Manager. Just click to open the link. Once the link is open, find the download link at the bottom and click to start the download. When the download is complete, locate and copy the file. When the copy is complete go to the file manager windows and click this PC, and open the E2BPTN2 drive. This will serve as the bootable partition of your UEFI. After you open it, paste the file here and you need to extract the contents. After extracting, you can delete the archive file. And at last there is the right partition for you EFI mode. In this part of the video we have done all the procedures and we now have our multi-bootable flash drive for legacy mode and you EFI mode. Let's take a look at the partition drive where we should put the ISOs we need to boot. Again, open the file manager and click this PC. You will see the win install partition, sometimes its drive name changes so let's just click on it. When you open the main partition you will see the ISO folder. This will be the folder of your ISOs if you use legacy mode or UEFI mode. Click the ISO folder and let's see what folders are here. Wow, interesting isn't it? Inside the ISO folder you will now see where you should place the ISOs. Ready to multi-boot? You can now copy your Windows operating system ISO inside the Windows folder. Inside the Windows folder, you will find the Windows versions. It's very easy and I know you already know where you should put or copy your Windows operating system. For example, when you make Windows 10 bootable then go to the Win 10 folder and copy it inside. Let's go back to ISO main folder, when you have ISO recovery tools, put it in the utilities folder. If security and antivirus then copy to antivirus folder. If you have Linux operating system, then Linux folder is the answer. You now have a bootable flash drive that can choose what you want to boot. Wow! At last, we're done making our multi-bootable flash drive. I hope you learned something, but if you haven't, you can go back and watch it again. Before I give a tip, you may have forgotten to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the next video updates. Let's start with the tips. My tip is to avoid inconvenience if your bootable breaks. Often our computer security deletes auto-run scripts. This is sometimes the reason why our multi-bootable flash drives don't work. This is the reason why we need to back up the auto-run files. You can also include other files to be sure. The two partitions have its own auto-run, so we need to back up them both. If your computer security accidentally deletes your auto-run, just go back to the file and extract it. Another tip is, you don't need to make another multi-bootable if a new version of the ISO comes out. All you have to do is replace the old one and save the new one in the designated folder. Your multi-bootable is permanent. If there is a new version of easy to boot, you will not need to create a new one, but you will download the new easy to boot software and open it. 
When you open there is an update button. Here is what you will use to update the main partition of your bootable. Easy right? All you have to do is update, no need to start over and copy thingies. The easy to boot update will not affect your ISOs, it will not delete the files and ISOs you put on the multi-bootable flash drive. This is the end of my tips. If you want to learn how to download ISO files for your multi-bootable flash drive, you can visit my channel and find the video tutorial. Or see the video link in the description on how to download untouched ISOs. That's all for today, thank you for watching. Hope this helped you.